You know the video where the guy basically slaps and slams that pixie wig on her head. Like we're a few steps away from that. What? Um, no, they did not. And I'm tired. Oh, this is how the stuff. I understand why people be crying when their hair come out bad because what? The top of it giving bump. <laughs> it's definitely giving bump. Like look at the, why is that up there on the right, on the left? I mean like. This look just told me I'm that girl. We went through hell and back, but we did something amazing today. We tapped in and we got a whole look together like girl. Before we get into this look, definitely give this video a thumbs up. This is a full get ready with me. You guys are going to see absolutely every step of the way. And if you are new here, subscribe. I want to give you a nice warm welcome. Share this with your homeboys and your homegirls. Put the people on. The summer is coming. The burgundy of this wig should let you know it's going to be a hot summer. Oh, we did the damn thing with this one, but I'm not going to keep you guys. I want you to keep it locked because we're doing makeup. We're doing hair. We're giving vibes. And also we're going to have a little key key about the rich auntie aesthetic. What does that mean? Okay. Are you the rich auntie? What are you bringing to the cookout? Are you even bringing anything besides your vibe, your aura to the cookout? Oh, oh, did you prefer the drop earrings? or the door knocker earrings. So y'all already know what aesthetic I'm going for. It's giving very much, you know, the rich auntie tees, you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to figure out what I'm bringing to the cookout, but let me know, what would you bring? So first things first, I'm going in with the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen you might want to get your ears too it's cookout season so you you got to make sure that you have protection okay i'm putting this all over my face but then we have to go in and prime i need a very matte base because i want this look it has to captivate and you know what that matte base for my oily skin is perfect so of course i'm going to use the becca primer You already know the focal point of this look is the burgundy pixie wig so you guys know i love to do burgundy brows because it just it brings the whole look together so i'm going to be going in with a few products so i'll have everything listed in the description box of course but the first thing i want to do is outline and figure out the shape of my brow since we struggling we on struggle street for the brows, I'm using a combination of the Too Faced Drop Dead Red Matte Liquid Lipstick and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Chocolate. Now I do want this line to be particularly faint. I don't want it to be too intense because the overall color is definitely gonna be the burgundy. So once I have the overall shape, I'm going in with the Drop Dead Red Matte Liquid Lipstick. I like to add this to a palette. So if you guys want one of these, you should definitely check the description box. It's really good. I'm gonna be using the Sephora Pro Brow Brush in number 20. And we're gonna go to work applying light pressure as you move towards you know the bridge of the nose okay so then i'm going in with the la girl pro conceal in pure beige because we got to shape her up Don't forget to fade the inner portion of the brow. Yes, girl. We don't want them connecting. Okay, I'm excited, it looks good. So I'm going into the Violet Voss palette. <laughs> Look at the 
cute colors love the colors <laughs> lots of love um i'm going in with hashtag and then i think i'm going to use this brown shade here which is teddy bear mm, beautiful love this color it's a nice very warm orange fan it out at the end for consistent payoff so i want y'all to let me know like what are y'all doing for the summer okay waxed waxed <laughs> crack that back okay <laughs> if you're young and you're watching this mind your business you know with the rich auntie aesthetic you know they usually are carefree very much um bother can be the life of the party and sometimes most times they're often child free mm, okay i'm gonna use teddy bear in the crease for some smoke mm -hmm. to go over the mobile lid i'm gonna use the maybelline fit me press powder in 334. i'm excited for this pixie like are you ready for me Next, with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, I'm gonna use this to smoke the lash line. This is a little scary, but we gotta do it. So basically, you just line the lash line. I'm gonna do a lot because I like drama. And then, I'm gonna smoke it out. And when you smoke it, you want to kind of drag it to the teddy bear eyeshadow that we used and create sort of like a smoky wing. Mm -hmm. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This is in medium 20. It's way too um, dark for your girl, but guess what? I'm just going to go in with the same concealer I used under my brows apply it on the base and then I go in with Pat so we got to talk about Pat one of the best foundations and I get a ton of comments always positive again she gives you buildable coverage definitely medium coverage but you can build to full So I'm going in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in 355, 356. I'm gonna put it on the palette because the way Danessa Myricks applies foundation, I need to learn. I'm trying to, I was up late last night, <laughs> early this morning, watching her tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna tap the product. Right? Tap it on the palette and then swirl. And then I'm just gonna use the same concealer I used on the brows. And I blend until it's just right. I do not let up. I keep blending. The blend has to be perfect so that the contour is just right and the highlighted portions don't look too stark. It all has to work together. Of course, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, concentrating it in the areas that I've highlighted, but also all across the face i'm even gonna hit my eyebrows just a little bit mm -hmm. 
it's giving powdered donut but we're about to clean it up so i'm going in with the sephora matte bronzer this is in the shade mykonos love it very light pressure you don't even really have to contour the forehead too crazy because it's really not gonna show and then back in with the pressed powder that i used on the mobile lid this is in 334 and this is for all over the face and i'm really working on allowing the brush to hug the contours you know of the face brushing towards the inner portions of my face with all this powder we have to make it rain and the bioderma hydro bio mist is perfect at setting a whole of the powder so you get that flawless finish absolutely love the fine mist on this i'm going back in with the urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil to prepare for the lashes i'm going in with the wet n wild big papa mascara first time using it let's see love the packaging okay this is nice oh this is very nice for lashes, I've been raving about Super Baddie Kawaii's Baddie Sensei lashes. Girl, you could wear them multiple times. They're so full, so dramatic, so me. Sultry, reserve. You figure out which look you want to do, but you invite me to a cookout, you're getting drama. You're getting intensity. You are getting a look, okay? Sometimes, you guys know I really hate cooking, so I will show up to places with some wine. No food. Wine and vibes, because I'm the vibe. <laughs> I don't like cooking. For the inner tear duct, I'm gonna be using this 24 karat gold eyeshadow glitter by e.l.f. Hmm. This will get you noticed. To highlight, I'm using a combination of Trophy Wife and the blush lighter from Wet n Wild and Flash Me. So I'll do the gold first and then follow up with this rose gold. For the lips, I'm gonna outline with Sephora's Cedarwood so that I bring a little bit of depth to the overall look. For the lipstick, I'm using Tom Ford's Pink Dusk. Girl, get into it. And then I'm gonna use the Tower 28 Lip Gloss in chill so glossy this is like the gloss from your childhood this is style hh mon ami or mon ami in the color burgundy so it almost gave ronald mcdonald i'm not even gonna hold you i am nervous because usually you know with the burgundy you get a little bit of like 99j energy but like no combs i mean great ventilation <laughs> what? I know they did not, and I'm tired. Girl. No, they did not do me, but I think they did. Wow. Let's get creative. Oh, y'all heard that sizzling. But this is type of stuff. I understand why people be crying when they hear come out bad because what? The top of it giving bump. <laughs> it's definitely giving bump. Like, look at the. Why is that up there on the right? On the left, I mean. Like I almost gave up with this wig, but I ended up going on Instagram Live where you guys was such a positive, positive. Because I had to slick down my natural hair so that this unit 
can thrive. Right off the bat, you might wanna cry. This is going to discourage you. Like if I wasn't who I was, I would start crying because this looks like a waste of money. I'm gonna get her saturated with mousse, like saturated with mousse. And I'm gonna use the ORS Olive Oil Wrap Set Mousse. This is gonna get us all the way together. So I had to go in and put layers and layers of mousse on to the hair because I need it to mold and I need it to lay exactly how I want. There's a little bit too much volume near the ear tabs. So this is gonna help me create a more sleek look in the areas that I need and volumize the areas that can use a little bit more, you know, zhuzh and va va boom. I had to go in and also use my satin scarf because again i need those you know pieces near the ear tabs to obey me because right now she's disobedient she's not listening she's not doing what she's supposed to do it's not giving what it was supposed to have gave this unit it does shed slightly minimal and it also has this dye on it that is going to run off onto the skin onto the hands it's actually all on the top of the dispenser for the mousse I'm just gonna go in with my hands, do a lot of work, okay? Really, really crazy at fluffing and volumizing. 